Canada tries to embrace a, a food systems approach in its programming to improve how development assistance addresses the complex development challenges, such as women's empowerment, climate change, um, biodiversity loss, hunger, malnutrition, uh, inclusive growth, and, and above all, poverty reduction. We're very concerned with the impact of, of recent shocks on, on vulnerable populations around the world, um, in particular, where it exacerbates high food prices. Now, with this in mind, we're now working to strengthen the resilience of vulnerable populations and uh, agri-food systems um, to be better prepared for future shocks. In the last three years, Canada has invested more than one and a half billion Canadian dollars in, in food security um, and agri-food system projects across all of our channels. Canada values the partnerships and expertise of our donor partners and, uh, and we work collaboratively in advancing you know, key agri-food issues at the boards and, and the governing councils of our multilateral partners. We need to start thinking about food systems in their totality, you know, considering the, the interlinkages of actors, of activities, and, and the elements inherent in them. And, and this food system approach, I think, calls for collaboration across sectors, and in particular, you know, among donors. The Global Donor Platform has been instrumental in contributing to this policy dialogue over the past years. I find that the platform has always done a great job in, in offering uh, services and, and, and knowledge that are of value to donors. The challenge, I think, will always be that donors have differing interests and, and more importantly, an ability to engage. But the core purpose of the platform should remain to provide this safe and discreet places for frank and open exchanges among donors so we can can share success but also our failures and our challenges and, and make this a platform for us to learn from each other.